Hey guys, Dick here again, back with another gold medal Left 4 Dead survival strategy for you. This one takes place in Blood Harvest Campaign's chapter, The Farmhouse. This strategy is actually pretty easy. Um, it's not that difficult, it's nothing new. I've actually seen people use it in story mode before. Your whole team is basically just going to make their way over to the farmhouse, head upstairs, and we're going to hold off from there. Now as you see here, the three of us are upstairs in the farm, um, across from the farmhouse, and we had one team member go to start the event, and he's going to run back and come straight upstairs. So as you see right here, we have two people watching the giant hole in the wall. Um, Wilson's going to move around a bit and help all over the place because he's awesome like that. And I'm watching the ladder and the special infected that are going to climb right here. You're going to catch a lot of boomers and smokers and hunters coming up the ladder. So that'll be your uh, main concern for whoever's doing my job or what I'm doing right now. Also feel free to use as much shotgun ammo as you need. There's a pile up here. There should be throwables like Molotovs up here. Um, sometimes it's random and you won't get it, but I mean, as long as you got that ammo pile right there, you should be good. When the tank comes, everybody that's not busy or currently fighting off an infected needs to assist with the tank. It's just the fastest way to take them down. Um, that, in my opinion, is all four team members have four shotguns and just unload on him. So here we go again, watch this one. Everybody just focus fires the tank with all four shotguns and he goes down like immediately. I clearly had no clue where the tank was coming from in this one, but uh, again, just focus fire as soon as you find him, and he'll go down immediately.
Now here's a cool little trick of mine here. Um, notice that even though there's a tank coming, we have a horde coming at us, and even though I have to clear the horde off, I'm not completely emptying my shotgun. I normally start to reload around three or four shots at the latest, normally five, and then continue to shoot again. And the reason for that is you don't want the tank to run up on you and to only have like three shells left. It would be best to just not empty your shotgun if you don't have to and reload it back to 10 whenever you have like even a moment to catch a breath like in between the horde and the tank that way if the tank runs up on you you can just annihilate them in other words anytime you're not shooting you should be reloading or fully reloaded Notice how quick we drop them every time because all four of us are just focus fire. Just take that tank down immediately. That's your biggest threat. Alright, if you've made it this far, you should have the bronze and the silver medal in just a few more minutes and you'll have yourself a gold. If you'll notice right here, I make the exact mistake I was talking about. I empty my shotgun right there, and now I'm stuck reloading as the tank is climbing up. And this one wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse, but you see what I'm talking about. I, I, he was As he was climbing up, I was just putting in the 8th, 9th, and 10th shotgun shell. And, you know, he, he could have just rushed on me right there. And another thing I've uh, noticed about that is when you're completely empty, there's a delay as to when you can shoot your gun again while you're reloading. If you start reloading before you're completely empty, you can shoot whenever you press the trigger, but if you hit zero ammo and start reloading, it will delay your first shot. Alright, we've made it to nine minutes. Heal up if you need to. Don't want to uh, risk it here. Um, I wouldn't recommend ballsing out like our team member did here. He healed up and ran back into the house, I think, for another med kit. But, um, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing that if, uh, 
you're kind of new to the game or new to survival, it might be very difficult to get back. As you can see, he's getting attacked by the horde constantly, and we have to uh, fight to help him get back. So, um, you gotta be pretty confident or a good player to make it there and back. And he did pretty well, but if you notice earlier, he was at red health. He healed, went and grabbed that, and he's already back at red health. <laughs> And congratulations, if you've made it this far, you've gotten your gold medal. Um, everything on out from here is just ego trip and stroking your own cock. <laughs> uh, I got a couple friends who have over a half hour logged into survival and some even up to an hour. Um, I have not yet reached that far, but I've at least got all my golds and don't mind helping and showing you guys the strategies I used. I hope this video was a huge help to some of you guys. I'm sure this is an already uh, well-known strategy. I've seen it used many times before, like I said, but just thought I'd show you guys the way we did it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to uh, stop by and check out the playlist. There's plenty of other gold medals and achievements and guides for you guys there, too. And right there, I beat my own best time. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed.